Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I wanted to show you guys my Christmas village setup for this year. Um, this was a huge project for me this month. It took a lot of planning and setting up. Um, I actually think it took me around three days to get it finished and I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, I'm a really big Christmas person. Christmas is my favorite time of year, so this is something that I've been looking forward to all year. Um, this is actually my first time doing a setup this large because I didn't really have the space the last couple of years because I was staying at my apartment in college. So now that I'm back home, I decided to go all out. But yeah, I'm just really excited to share this with you guys. But before we get started with the tour, um, I wanted to add a mini haul in here of all the Christmas sets I'll be using for the setup. So the biggest thing I got from my Christmas village is this new Christmas lodge that was released earlier this month. So I went ahead and pre-ordered this from Kobe Japan and it came in just in time for me to use it in my village. Um, but yeah, when I saw this, I knew I had to have it because it was so perfect for Christmas. Um, you can kind of see everything that it comes with here in the back of the box. And I absolutely love that it came with the older reindeer siblings to complete my reindeer family. So I'm really excited about this one. And then these are all the other sets that I'll be using for my Christmas setup. Um, and I didn't get these all at once. I've actually been saving a lot of them for a while now. Uh, but I wanted to insert them into this video and show you guys just in case any of you were interested and wanted to pick some up as well. So yeah. So this set is called the Happy Christmas Friends and this is actually their new Christmas release for this year. So I went ahead and picked this up from Kobe Japan as well, but I know it's also available from Amazon Japan and they're actually pretty affordable on there. But yeah, I think this set is so cute. I love their outfit so much. Um, I think my favorite would have to be the Husky Baby in the Mrs. Claus outfit, but they're all really cute so I definitely had to have them. And then I also picked up this set which is called the White Christmas Persian Cats and they're meant to be like Christmas carolers which is super fun. Um, this is also from Kobe Japan but I've actually had these for a while now. I've just been waiting to open them until Christmas time so I'm really excited to be able to set them up now. Um, and this set is really cute and what's really cool about this is you can decorate the Christmas tree yourself. So it comes with all of these ornaments and you can decide how you want to decorate your tree. So I think that'll be really cool for my Christmas setup. And next I picked up this baby sleigh ride set and I really just fell in love with this one because I thought the toy poodle baby here was so adorable. I love his little reindeer costume and I also thought the sleigh was so beautiful so I knew I had to get this one. Um, you can kind of see everything that it comes with here in the back of the box. Um, and I'm not too sure when this was released but I do think this was a little bit harder to find than the rest of the Christmas sets. And then I also got this set which is the Gingerbread Playhouse and this one's pretty simple. It doesn't really come with any accessories except for the Marshmallow Mouse Baby and a little sleigh. Um, but I really liked all the detailing on it and I still thought it was really cute. Um, you know, obviously it's a gingerbread house so it's perfect for Christmas. So I also decided to pick this one up. And then I also got this set which is called the Lion Santa's Christmas set um, and this is a really popular one. Um, I've had this for a while now too. I've just been waiting to open this one up um, but this one comes with a ton of accessories. It has a bunch of toys. Um, obviously it has Santa and his little helper um, in that little sleigh there which I thought was so adorable um, and I thought this would go perfectly in my village. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to finally be able to open this one up. And then the last thing that I have here is the Santa Rabbit Twins and I actually showed this in one of my hauls a couple months back. Um, so this has been sitting here for a while too waiting to get used. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much everything that I got um, to use for my Christmas village. So now let's get on with the tour. So my whole display here is actually on an 8 foot long table um, and if you saw my Halloween Town display um, that was actually on a 4 foot long table so I just went ahead and combined two to make an 8 foot long one. Um, so this is twice as big as my Halloween Town setup because I am such a huge Christmas person. Um, I love Christmas so much and so I knew that I wanted this to be big and I kind of wanted to be able to add a lot of my buildings out here so yeah um and as you'll see i do also have lights kind of all around um 
the entire village um these are all from amazon i have like string lights and then those little like garland lights there and i will go ahead and leave a link down below to all of the kind of props and materials that i was able to get from amazon a couple of things that i did get from like the dollar store and things like that um, but i'm sure you could find um some more things on amazon so yeah so let's go ahead and get started so um, over here, I went ahead and put up my uh, Sylvanian Market in this really pretty green color. Um, I don't think I've shown this um, in my channel yet, but it is something that I have and I love it. Um, and then on top of that, I have the Toy Shop. Um, and you'll also probably notice that I used mainly only like winter themed uh, animals. So I have like polar bears, penguins, um, huskies, uh, reindeers, different things like that, just because I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more realistic in that sense. So yeah, so I have the polar bear mother and daughter over here. Um, and then in front of this area, I have the Christmas gingerbread house. I forget the exact like name of the set, um, but that's what I have there. And I also have one of the little reindeer babies from one of the other Christmas sets. And then going to the right, so up here I have the General Hospital in that really pretty blue color. Um, and I did try to go for kind of all pastel or as much pastel buildings as I could um, just to complement the Deluxe Celebration Home over there. Um, so yeah, I have that up there. And then I have the supermarket. And right here I kind of made like a little, I don't know, like hangout spot in front of like the shops. These are all very like retail shop so i kind of wanted it to have like a little hangout area um over here i have the christmas carolers if you hear like tapping in the background that's my dog running around sorry about that um so yeah over here i have the christmas caroler girls um and then i have the penguins with their little ice cream cart um, and then over here i have the village bakery and then the watermill bakery on top um, and then going over here, I really wanted the Deluxe Celebration Home to be kind of the focal point because um, I thought it would be really nice for Christmas. You know, it has these beautiful colors on it. I thought it would look really great with lights. And so um, I have that stuck in the middle and I kind of made this area here kind of be like the little town square. So I have these three Christmas trees set up with a bunch of presents around it. And um, this is also where I put my Santa. So in my mind, it's like, this is where, you know, when you go to the mall, you go and, you know, sit on Santa's lap. Like, that's what I imagine like this area would be where there's like a Santa and his little helpers over here and everything. Um, so yeah, I have that there. Um, I also have this little baby sleigh with a reindeer baby and a Santa baby. Um, and then over here, this is the sleigh that comes with this Santa. So that's what I have over here. Um, and then moving to the right, I have the Sylvanian kitchen and the hamburger restaurant. So this is very like food based. Yeah, but pretty much all these four buildings here are kind of like restaurants or food based whereas the other one you know there's like different types of like shops like on the other side um so uh and then in front of that i have the candy wagon with the reindeers and the husky over there and then um on this area i decided to make this a little um snowman making center i don't know um but behind that i have the upper building of the applewood department store which is actually a cafe and i didn't want to bring out my entire applewood department store like with the bottom building and everything out here just because it does come with a lot of pieces um so i didn't want any of the pieces getting lost or anything like that because i did leave all of the pieces inside so it's all set up in there and everything all of these buildings are all set up inside um, and I've moved them from my room where I kind of have them displayed more permanently out here. Um, the only one that isn't set up all the way is the village cake shop, just because I didn't get around to doing it. So if you'll see, I have like the bags of them in there. Um, but yeah, so on top of the Applewood department store, 
I have the Village Cake Shop. Um, and then over on this side, lastly, so this is the new Christmas cabin um, house that came out for this year, which is the same as the Blue Bowl Cottage, but just, you know, a different paint job on it. Um, and I kind of made this the hub for the reindeers. Um, and, you know, I just went ahead and decorated all of that too. So yeah, that's pretty much my entire setup. So here's another quick overview of my Christmas village. I had so much fun doing this and I'm just so happy with how this turned out. Um, this did take me a really long time. It was definitely a huge project um, just because I wanted this to look perfect. And as you can see, I have so many different props and accessories here. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun doing this. It definitely put me in the Christmas spirit. Um, and I think my favorite area would definitely have to be the town square um, kind of little setup that I've put up in front of the deluxe celebration home. I just think it looks super festive and Christmassy, so I really love that. But yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next one.